All right, listen up, because I'm about to tell you what nobody's saying about the San Francisco 49ers. Let me paint this picture. Imagine you're a team on the ropes, season slipping through your fingers, and right when you need a game changer, rumors start swirling about a major return. You can feel the tension building, the stakes climbing higher, the pressure boiling over like never before. Now, folks, I'm talking about a piece that could tilt the scale, redefine expectations, and silence every critic who's questioned their season. But don't you dare look away now, because if this return happens, let's just say the whole league's gonna be forced to sit up and take notice. All right, folks, here's the real deal on the San Francisco 49ers. We're talking about a team on the brink, where every game is a fight for relevance and a push against the odds. Now, the 49ers have seen their fair share of injuries, ups, downs, and everything in between. But let's not pretend that the possible return of Christian McCaffrey is just another footnote. No, no, no. This could be the very hinge upon which their entire season swings. Let's dive deep into why this news has everybody in the league watching, waiting, and yes, holding their breath. First off, let's address the elephant in the room. The 49ers started this season hoping they could hold their own without McCaffrey. They had plans, they had backups, and they sure had confidence. But as the season progressed, they faced challenges, lost critical games, and began to see their playoff dreams get more complicated. You'd think they'd have come to terms with McCaffrey's absence by now, but here's where things get interesting. It seems the whispers around his recovery, those little glimmers of hope that maybe, just maybe, he'll be back after the bye week, are turning into something more than just wishful thinking. When Ian Rappaport reported that there's a very good chance McCaffrey could suit up for weak Dez, every 49ers fan felt that surge of cautious optimism. But let me tell you something about cautious optimism. It's as dangerous as it is thrilling. Fans have waited and waited, and they've been burned before. They heard throughout the offseason that McCaffrey's Achilles was under control, that he'd be ready to go. Yet, here we are, seven weeks in, and he hasn't even seen a full practice. This level of anticipation can be a game changer, or it can be the downfall of a season if it doesn't pan out. Now let's take a closer look at what his return really means. McCaffrey is no ordinary player. This man is a powerhouse, an offensive juggernaut, someone who can shift the dynamics on the field the second he steps out there. Without him, the 49ers offense has had to adapt scrambling to find ways to maintain momentum without that consistent force in their backfield. Sure, they've had Jordan Mason stepping up. Mason has grit, he's tough, and he's taken on the role with everything he's got. But make no mistake, he's been carrying an injury himself. And Rappaport's words on Mason? He believes this could be his last game as the lead back for the 49ers. Think about the stakes of that statement. This game against the Dallas Cowboys could mark the end of one chapter for the 49ers' backfield and the beginning of another. We're potentially witnessing the last hurrah for Mason in this role. If McCaffrey's back, it means Mason can get some relief, play a supportive role, and maybe even extend his season health-wise. But, for now, it's all eyes on him to deliver one last time before the spotlight shifts back to McCaffrey. Now, this isn't just about player rotations, it's about impact. When we talk about McCaffrey returning, we're talking about a strategic weapon that can elevate the 49ers game to a whole new level. He's not just a player, he's an asset that brings versatility, power, and unpredictability. Defenses don't know what to expect when McCaffrey's on the field, and that element of surprise? That's something the 49ers have been sorely missing. We're not just talking about running plays. McCaffrey brings a passing threat, a quick-footed versatility that forces defenses to adapt on the fly. Let's not overlook the broader implications here. The 49ers are Trey's Quattro, and they've just lost one of their best players to a season-ending injury. This team has been battered, no question about it. They're fighting an uphill battle in a season that feels like it's slipping away. But here's the thing. They haven't given up. There's a reason they're not rushing McCaffrey back. A reason they're holding out, giving him the time he needs. They understand that bringing him back too soon could be a disaster. Not just for him, but for the entire team. They're looking at the long game here, and that's what makes this situation so high stakes. Fans are waiting, anxiously, some even skeptically. There's been talk, speculation, doubt, and who can blame them? After all, 
they've been given the runaround before, with the 49ers keeping tight-lipped about McCaffrey's injury status all offseason. They acted as though his availability was a non-issue, played it cool. But the reality? It's weak Wado, and McCaffrey hasn't suited up. He hasn't been in full practice. So, naturally, fans are on edge. They want to believe, but they're cautious. Rightfully so. Now, let's dig even deeper into the ripple effects this McCaffrey news is creating. Not just in the locker room, but across the entire league. Look, every NFL team, especially the NFC contenders, is on high alert. They know that a healthy, fully capable McCaffrey in a 49ers jersey spells trouble, plain and simple. There's no sugarcoating it. This is a player who's made defensive coordinators lose sleep. When he's on his game, he's a human highlight reel, making cuts, breaking tackles, and turning what looks like a simple play into a game-breaking moment. That's the kind of spark he brings, and that's the spark the 49ers need right now. Here's why his potential return is so monumental. We're talking about an offense that has struggled without him. They've seen moments of brilliance, yes, but those have been fleeting. Every week, they're in this constant cycle of readjusting, of trying to make up for the hole left by McCaffrey's absence. And that's no easy task, folks. Teams in the NFL don't just replace a McCaffrey-type player. It's a rare breed that combines speed, agility, and the kind of football IQ that makes everyone around him better. His return isn't just a boost to the stats. It's a psychological lift for a team in desperate need of one. Now, when we talk about Jordan Mason potentially stepping down from the lead-back role after this game against the Cowboys, we're looking at a shift that could fundamentally change the 49ers' season trajectory. Mason has put up a valiant effort. He's played hurt, he's stepped into the pressure, and he's delivered. But imagine this. You've been grinding week after week, fighting through pain, only to see your role diminish just as McCaffrey re-enters the lineup. It's a bittersweet moment for any player, yet it's one that highlights the depth of character Mason has shown throughout this season. The Cowboys game, then, becomes a defining moment, not just for Mason, but for the entire backfield. This could be the last time we see him carry the load. For fans, it's a chance to appreciate his dedication, his resilience, his drive. And for Mason, it's one final opportunity to show that he's not just a backup. He's a key part of this team, a player who's given everything for the 49ers in McCaffrey's absence. This game is his curtain call, a performance for the ages. But let's not lose sight of what's at stake here. A Tres Quattro record isn't what the 49ers had envisioned at this point in the season. They're behind, yes, but they're not out. This is a team with grit, a team with heart, and a team that knows it has the tools to turn things around. And McCaffrey's return could be the catalyst. Imagine, if you will, a team that's been clawing its way through the season, suddenly getting back one of the most explosive players in the league. It's a shot of adrenaline, a surge of momentum that could propel them into the playoffs and beyond. Look, I don't need to tell you that McCaffrey is a game changer. You know it, I know it, the entire league knows it. But what people aren't talking about enough is the psychological impact his return has. Opposing teams, they prepare differently when McCaffrey's in the lineup. They know they can't just stack the box or blitz without repercussions. They know that with him on the field, every single play has the potential to go the distance. That's a mental game, folks. And it's one the 49ers need in their arsenal. And for the fans, let's be real here. They've been patient, they've waited, and they've endured. The 49ers have played it close to the vest with McCaffrey's status, and the fans have watched as every update, every little rumor, has kept them on edge. They've held their breath, hoping that the wait would be worth it, that when McCaffrey did return, he'd be back for good. No half measures, no temporary fixes, just a full force return. This anticipation? It's like a fever pitch, building week after week, and it's about to reach its boiling point. The 49ers need him now more than ever, and if there's one thing we know, it's that McCaffrey's not coming back just to fill space on the roster. He's coming back with something to prove, with a fire, with a determination that's been burning brighter every day he's been sidelined. This isn't just a return to play, it's a statement, a declaration, that McCaffrey is back and ready to do whatever it takes to help his team claw its way back to the top.